Hi folks, Richard Millman here for Rallyball.com and The Wall uh, and you can see behind me I've got uh, the custom model that I make for off the wall squash uh, in the UK um, but uh, I'm using it here on the pickleball court and the drill I'm going to be doing is a self-fed drill where I'm practicing first of all lobs and then I'm going to start varying between lobs and third shot drops so uh, hopefully you can see how you can use your wall um, for a really good intense uh, repetitive practice session uh, and work on some of those shots those fine control shots uh, that require touch some top spin and some movement okay so i'm going to move you across so you can get a better view of me uh, so let's go across to where the balls are So hopefully you can see both the court and the, the wall by rallyball.com. Uh, if you're in the UK, this particular model you can get from Off The Wall Squash. Uh, that's Paul Selby and Karen Selby, uh, and you can find them on the web. But here in the US and in Canada, you can get this from me. Okay, here we go. I feed myself a couple of balls and then I decide whether it's a ball that looks like I can hit a lob. Uh, I might well go through 50 lobs before I start changing to third shot drops, but I'm gonna give you a general view. You could also just do 50 or 100 third shot drops. You can aim for the middle, you can aim for the side, you can put spin on it, or you just hit a, a classic flat uh, straight uh, uh, drop um, without putting in anything extra on it. Uh, entirely up to you. Here we go. You can see I'm putting a little top spin on the lob, which allows the ball to come down more steeply, but then when it bounces, runs away from the opponent. Just gone in the corner very nicely. Another one just catching the line. Now obviously you can add bungees to increase the tension if you want to. I've chosen not to because today I'm not looking for a fast ball off the net. I'm looking for a slower ball that gives me a chance to work on my footwork. All right, so this time I'm going to play um, maybe a lob, maybe a third shot drop aiming for the middle on my third shot drop uh, but one of the great things that I've noticed that the top masters players do in singles in this country is they hit very good short angles with some spin to make their opponent move a long way so I might try a couple of those as well a little too deep on that one and there's my third shot drop great tip that I've picked up about third shot drops from the pros is that 80% of the shots the pros make all go in about 60% of them are volleyed by their opponents they don't care about the volley and about you know 25 30% go in a perfect third shot drop position but only six to eight percent ever go in the net so clearly when you're hitting a third shot drop the important thing is to get it over rather than try and play it so perfectly that you catch the net. If the other person volleys, great, you're in the rally. Just over. Bit too close for comfort. And we know that they're going to volley, but then we defend against the volley. There's a little side spin dancing away. I'll, I'll just turn the camera a little bit so you can see when I hit that little 
side spin angle on the third shot drop, what I'm trying to get at there over in the corner. It's a little too much. Pretty good. So you can imagine an opponent who's been taken by a deep ball out to the right hander's backhand on that side has then returned, and then you pick it up maybe on the half volley or short hop here in the United States. And with a little side spin, that's going to make the person really work hard. Obviously, you have to be selective as to when you hit it, but it's a great choice in singles, particularly, but even in doubles. If you've managed to get your opponent out of position and you don't play it too wide so that you open yourself up for the ATP, it's also a very useful skilled shot. There it is. All right, well, just readjust the camera here so that you can see the wall by rallyball.com. Uh, if you go online to www.rally.com, ball.com you can see the wall there if you are interested in the smaller version um, you know in England and Europe please contact off the wall squash and you can look them up on the web if you're in the United States and Canada please contact me and if you're interested in uh, the full size wall from rallyball.com which is 12 feet wide this one's only six feet wide um, Again, rallyball.com, and uh, I think you'll find that you can do some very useful drills. Remember, our catchphrase is, the only limitation is your imagination. Thanks, folks.